All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be checking out Groot Music. It's a music bot for Discord that you can invite to your server and play all your favorite tunes with your friends, along with things like filters, some basic moderation tools, and some playlist tools, which I think a few people would be very interested in using. So to add this to our server, I'm just going to go and grab it from the app directory. And I'm just going to type in Groot. And then here is Groot here at the top. There are 91,000 different servers. They're available in English, French, Russian, Ukrainian, and Hindi. They have a dashboard on their website, along with a copy of all the different commands on their website in case you are curious. I'm not actually certain what they like what sources that they use for their music i'm guessing probably spotify and or soundcloud but we will check that out here today so i'm going to click on the add server link and i'm going to tell it to put it on to the chupacabra test server here at the top and then it just wants the administrator permission which is fine i will give it that power and then i will prove that i am not a robot and in fact people i I don't need to join their actual like server server though for voice chat. So I'll just decline that. And then here you can see in our general chat, it says Groot has joined the party. So now I can type in slash help. And that will show me a, a sort of a list of all the different things that Groot can do. Generally, I prefer it when they just put a list of the actual commands in the help function because it would probably take up about as much space as this anyway. But now we have to go through and like check out the filters. So here's all your filters you can have. If you pay for premium, you can have like 8D or Bass Boost or Chipmunk or Daycore, Nightcore, Lo-Fi. All of that good stuff can be yours. We can also check out their info tab. This will tell us things like the, of what avatar someone's using, the AFK timer, you can get help by going into their help server to ask the developers directly. You can see the info about the server, the member count, the ping of the bot, premium status, uptime of the bot, user info, and then vote for this bot. Because a lot of these bots, if you vote for them on top GG, you can temporarily unlock certain premium features. Then we also have the music settings. Most of the music settings are pretty bog standard for every music bot they've ever played with, except rather than being able to stop the bot, which stops the music completely, clears the queue, and then the bot leaves the channel, you have to pause the bot and then tell the bot to leave. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. Then over here, we've got playlist functions. Um, playlists are actually your ability to add the songs from your current queue to a playlist so you can play from that playlist whenever you want or remove it or whatever, things like that. Uh, if we look at the playlist command slash playlist, you can see that we can add the current queue to a playlist, add the current song to a playlist, create a playlist, delete a playlist, info on a playlist, list all the playlists, play one of them, or remove duplicates or remove tracks from an existing playlist. So this actually has a lot of different functionality for that, whereas I feel like a lot of other ones just kind of like, they make a dumb list and then you save it to your computer. So that you have some fairly dynamic controls over. And then over here, you've also got settings. We have things like 24 seven mode. Do you want it to announce when it's playing songs or just be silent? You can blacklist certain channels so that it doesn't pay attention to anything listed or talked about in that channel, which I actually kind of like because then you could lock it off to any channel. But the music controls channel, you can change the language, change the prefix, kind of unimportant now that we're moving to slash commands and uh, turn on and off requester mode. There's no real information on what requester mode is, so I have really no idea. I'm. Yeah, so I you can turn that on or off, but it doesn't really tell me what that is, and I've not seen a requester mode in any other of the bots. And then over here, if we go down here, there's also some moderation tools where you can auto-moderate, where it'll look for, like, swears and all that stuff and kick people. You can ban people with a command. You can do a hack ban. Let's check out what a hack ban is, actually. Let's look at hack ban. 
bans a member from the server if also the member is not available in the server. Okay, so a hack ban is a ban where you ban someone preemptively even if they're not on the server. Okay, that's kind of handy. You want to preemptively ban someone that you don't like or know is a hacker who comes in, leaves, and then comes back. We've got the hide function, the kick function, the lock function, nuke. What does hide do, actually? I'm not entirely certain. Hides a channel. Oh, okay, so you can hide channels from different members. It's just some basic functionality from an admin. You can actually nuke channels with this, which deletes the old channel and makes a replica of the channel with nothing in it for, like, chat. Kind of dramatic, I, but a little bit easier than deleting all the messages. And then you can unhide or unlock different channels. So pretty nifty. But the bread and butter of a bot is its ability to play music. So I have a list in my other screen of the NCS music. So we'll just start playing some music. So we'll start with Alan Walker, Dreamer. Oh, I forgot to put in the slash command. So slash play, Alan Walker, Dreamer. And then we'll slash play. What else looks good? This one's right next to it in the list. What else looks good? Sin Cole, Reflect. And there we go, a few different songs in the queue so I can showcase to you how some of these different things work. So like a lot of bots that you have, you can control a lot of it from little buttons inside the actual text chat. So you have pause, you have resume, you can skip ahead, you can loop the, the songs or loop a single song by toggling this button, or you can completely stop the music as well. And you can also add these songs to a playlist if you want to load a playlist as well. Uh... Apparently there's a default playlist in here called Axel that I didn't create. I was trying to create one earlier called Basic, but I didn't really want to do that. Likewise, there's a lot of the same commands you've got, like you can pause the song by typing in the command for pause. You can resume in the same manner. Although it wants you to use it after it's registered that you're trying to talk to a bot, which is kind of janky, but it still works. Um, I would say, in general, the actual buttons work a little bit better than the slash commands, just because it's got to think to properly use the slash commands. You can also, from this pull-down, enable certain filters. Some of them are listed with a diamond. Those are the ones that require you to have premium. So you can throw on, like, the Vaporwave filter. And then it'll enable that filter. And actually, that was pretty snappy. Uh, sometimes it takes these bots a second to think about it before they can do that. And then we can also reset. So I like the drop-down menu. We can also look at all the songs currently in the queue. And if we wanted to, we could go to Playlist. And we could add queue to a playlist, and we could just call this NCS Basics. Although, for whatever reason, when I was trying to use the Q playlist commands, the bot was having some confusion trying to get that to work. So your mileage may vary when trying to create or use playlists, but they do have a lot of extensive playlist commands. So if it does work, try those out for yourself. So let's go ahead and type in the help command again, and let's see what other functionalities we might want to play with. So we looked at the filters. We have some info that we can look up if we so choose. So I can grab slash avatar of me. So we'll grab the user and then we'll grab my avatar. I just have a rando is avatar, although it looks like it's having trouble with that command as well. So some of the non music commands don't always want to behave themselves. Let's go ahead and check out um, the ping, slash ping. Generally, ping commands are pretty standard. Yep, so that's the ping of the bot. It's a 16 millisecond, which is very quick. Probably the quickest I've had of any bot in a while. We can look at slash server info. So this is the ID of the server we are, we're on. It was created August 29th of 2021. 
at 2.44 p.m. two years ago. I am the owner. And then we can see how many members are attached to it, which is just me and the bot. You can see how many channels it has. You can see how many boosts it's got, moderation controls, all of that good stuff. I don't really have a lot of permissions or security on this because, well, I'm the only one on it. And if I have to nuke it, there's nothing on it, so it doesn't matter. So let's see. We also have the admin and moderation and settings. Let's look at settings then. I don't really need to blacklist any channels, but let's just slash blacklist. And let's add a channel to this list. Let's add general. I don't want me being able to talk to Groot in general. So if we type in slash pause. So it's still if you have it ignoring a channel, it'll still listen to admins and moderators, it looks like. So it's difficult for me to showcase this. But in theory, blacklisting a channel will keep people from sending commands to Groot in that channel. So just just food for thought, all of these commands, blacklisting moderators and admins from doing things with bots is generally not something that works and or isn't something that's a feature. So just keep that in mind when using things like blacklist commands and let your moderators and admins know not to use it in the wrong channel or else you'll get mad at them. So we can also change the prefix again. We're using slash commands, not really terribly worried about that. I should probably actually get rid of that since we're moving exclusively to slash commands. And it sounds like the music's having a bit of a lag spike, but that happens. We are slowly going into peak hours. And then let's go ahead and look at the last section of the different commands in moderation. So we can ban things, auto mod. I'm guessing auto mod just turns on and off the auto moderation feature on Discord, so I'm not going to worry about that. But let's go to sub. Yeah, let's go to self rolls and go slash nuke. And then we'll nuke the self rolls channel just to see what it does. So that should have deleted the channel, cloned the channel, and then re upped the channel. So here is that exact same channel, but you can see all the chat messages are now gone. So that's kind of handy. You can also do that to the bot chat. So I can slash nuke this chat as well the bot chat and then boom it has been nuked and recreated and now it's empty so that's kind of handy so that so that in a nutshell has been a brief look at Groot and all the different stuff that it does obviously we couldn't completely showcase some of it because some of it wasn't behaving itself today but for me most of what I want is just the music playing aspect. I don't play enough music on Discord for me to really care about a lot of the more advanced features like the playlists. But if you really need playlists and you really love playlists, they've got playlists. The other thing I'll show you today is that they actually have a panel where you can see their dashboard and some of your settings from on the website. A lot of these features, um, they, they really are meant for having premium. But here under general, you can change the language really quick. If you'd like to, you can change the prefix. You can manage your premium status. You can go into settings and you can adjust the default volume. You can boost it. You can turn on or off requester mode. You can turn on or off autoplay and announce or the 24 seven system. The 24 seven system appears to be available by default without having to pay for it. So that's kind of nice. And we can also set a default voice channel if we like. You can also build custom messages for the bot to use, like when it announces things and welcomes people. You can do that in here. That is maybe a feature that if this is a particularly popular tutorial, I will do a bit on how to use that. Um, but for the most part, that's a lot of what you've got. You've also got Groot Flaky and Groot Premium. So you've got extra bots that you can play with. Um, what does playing with premium get us? So for premium, for three bucks a month, you get a prestigious profile, um, rhythmic music quality, zero voting requirements. For five dollars a month, you get prior plan features plus dynamic filters and volume and AI superpowers. What does AI superpowers do? These impressive AI capabilities are available through Groot, the Discord music bot. With Groot, users can access high quality artistic image generation 
as well as general chatting AI that can... Okay, so it's... You're basically getting that um, stable diffusion AI bot in here, and it also talks to you with chat GPT powers. Okay, good to know. Um, you also, with, for 15 bucks a month, you can get a custom branded bot and exclusive it's, um, priority assistance from the support team. So that's kind of cool if you find you need that. And you can kind of see all of that stuff down here if you want to play with that yourselves and potentially buy premium from Groot. So yeah, it, it, I mean, it's a good bot for playing music. That's what I would probably use it for. Uh, I don't know. I, I you know, AI stuff can be fun, but I think I'd want to try that, a free version of that before I paid money for that. Especially if you're paying, you know, five to 15 bucks a month. That's a lot of money for some folks, especially for like a one-off bot you might not use that much. So um, I'll put the links to this in the video description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.